Seven years in exile in Lebanon, Mahmoud Ayush is now getting ready to go back home. He's from the Syrian town of Mara in the Kalamun region. Ayush can go back because he's not considered a security risk by the Syrian government. It's a decision not every refugee can make. We are fed up and have been humiliated. The United Nations told us that there are no guarantees when we get back home, but we want to go back. That advice has caused tension between the UN's refugee agency and the Lebanese foreign ministry, which says the UNHCR is discouraging refugee returns, a claim the UN denies. It says it is carrying out its global mandate, which is to provide support to refugees and help them re-establish their lives in line with international standards. UNHCR is not deterring returns. UNHCR, um, you know, has expressed many times that it respects the government of Lebanon's decision that local integration is not an option. Lebanese authorities say a few thousand refugees displaced by the seven-year-long war have already signed up for what they call voluntary returns and that thousands of others are willing to go home. Lebanon, which is hosting more than one million Syrian refugees, has long complained of the burden it carries. Officials say it costs the country about eight billion dollars a year. Many refugees now have economical and not political or security reasons for staying. Foreign ministry officials say much of Syria is now safe. UNHCR was telling them specifically do not return, which is not the mandate. The mandate of the UNHCR, at least that what they say, is that we want to make sure those people know what they're doing. But what, what is actually happen, happening is much more than that. The ministry has now decided to suspend residency applications submitted by UNHCR for its staff in Lebanon. The foreign minister is acting in a caretaker capacity, but he does belong to the ruling alliance, so his decisions could be a sign of future state policy. Refugees are caught in the middle in what could become a contentious political issue. Large-scale returns gives legitimacy to the Syrian government, which wants the international community to provide badly needed funds for reconstruction. The UN insists it does not encourage or discourage returns, but it is not organizing them, while discussions with Damascus continue on safeguards that still need to be put in place.